As the Jags take on the Kansas City Chiefs Saturday afternoon for the AFC Divisional Round. And First Coast News is bringing you team coverage as we cheer on the Jags to another victory. Sports Director Chris Porter joins us live from Kansas City. And Chris, you're learning a lot about the competition there, right? Of course, we're talking about the, the Chiefs. Yes, learning a lot about the competition, also learning a lot about this weather. Boy, there's no place like home, but I'm not complaining. I've got the best assignment of the week being here in KC as our Jaguars are getting set to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. And even the most casual NFL fan knows that Patrick Mahomes is not only one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, but one of the most electrifying persons in sports. And I got a chance to talk to a man, his high school coach, who says that he knew Patrick Mahomes before he became this big time mega star. And Patrick is even a better man than athlete. And he showed up, of course, you know, we'd been hearing about, you know, Patrick and, and his dad and, you know, the home runs he's hitting at the baseball field uh, in Tyler and all around here. Adam Cook, Patrick Mahomes high school football coach, first met Mahomes when he was in the fifth grade. And it was easy to see then at a young age in the fifth, fifth or sixth grade that, man, he's just got greatness on him, you know, the way that he carries himself. At the time, Cook was the quarterback's coach at White House High School in Texas. Kid's got great arm strength, and, and there's things he can do here to extend the play. Um, and uh, you knew that he was going to, whatever Patrick Mahomes chose to do, you knew he was going to be successful at it. Mahomes had choices because not only was he an extremely gifted football player, but he was great at basketball and baseball as well. He did not become the starting quarterback at his high school until his junior year. He had one of his best friends was a guy by the name of Ryan Cheatham. And uh, Ryan could have been an, uh, an all-state quarterback. I think he could have played at the collegiate level as well. And those two guys battled it out. Cook says Mahomes has always been a fierce competitor. Uh, I feel like that was something that he got from his dad. What was you guys' relationship like when he was in high school? So it, it's a different relationship. It's a special relationship. It's one built on trust. Uh, what is your relationship with Patrick like now? Actually, every morning I send him a text. And he knows that I'm here. I love that kid. You know, man, I'll be watching TV and I'll get a text. Hey, you about to get a shout out. You know, I'll turn on the NFL channel and I hear my name on there. Patrick said something or, you know, and so that's cool. What impresses you most about Patrick? Uh, just his mentality. The way that he approaches the game and the way that he approaches uh, it as a job um, because he, he makes everyone around him better. Coach Hook told me that many folks don't know that Patrick Mahomes did not receive a lot of uh, recruitment from the big time division one college coaches. And the reason is because he was an outstanding baseball player and many of them thought that he would choose baseball over football. He went to Texas Tech and he did indeed shine. Uh, we all know that uh, Patrick has baseball in his DNA. His dad played pro baseball for the Texas Rangers and the New York Mets fine relationship between the coach and his former player. Don't forget that to Saturday, not tomorrow, I'm ahead of myself, Saturday, 2.30. It's going down right here on NBC 12, ready to roar pregame show from a cold and windy KC. Join me and the rest of the team, Heather Crawford, Andrew Badillo, James Grant, as we'll get you set for the game here. We even have uh, some stuff from a live watch party back in Jacksonville. Plus, we may be up in South Carolina. We've got all kinds of great stuff for you. Then at 4.30, keep it where you have it, right here on NBC 12, as the Jags and the Chiefs will go head-to-head -head for the second time. This time, the stakes, they could not be higher. Kickoff will be uh, around 4.30. And then after the game, immediately following the game, join us here on NBC 12 for our Ready to War post-game show. You'll hear Doug Peterson, Trevor Lawrence, and all the top players speak first about the outcome of the game. Now coming up a little later at sports here at 530, the Jaguars, as you know, they're on a six game win streak and they have found all kinds of ways to win. The last two weeks, they've almost given us a heart attack. Anywho, James Grant will put the win streak under the microscope a little later in sports. Hey guys, doing the best I can. My lips are frozen. My jaws are frozen. I'm trying my best to pronounce these words. I'll see you guys later at 530.